everybody! Welcome back to Fable Plays Exit the Gungeon. Dude, who have we not played as in a while? Okay, I know we haven't played as a robot, but mentally I'm not ready for that. Let's play as the bullet. Let's let's do a bullet run. And I yeah, dude, we have the bunny outfit. Alright, switch me up, baby. I'm ready, dude. You're not who I need to talk to in order to do this, huh? Look, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's been a while since we've played it. You know, I've been focusing... Oh, it's the route of the boy. You're new. Hello. Who are you? You're always so eager to play. You risked everything to come here. And now you're gambling with time just to talk to me? I like your style. If it isn't little guy still trying to exit the gungeon. Do you do anything or do you just like berate me? Alright, this man seems to just berate me. Good. Hey, you know what? Progression is progression. We got like $40. I don't know if we could like buy anything, but uh... You know, I'd like to buy this man's wares and goods. I'm not gonna lie about that. But I, I think we should like buy the void shotgun. Empty out the shop, which hopefully means that we'll be able to buy like something else in the future. Giving, you know, restocking the shelves. Get ourselves a compressed air tank and continue on the way. We're going to be doing Cultist's Path with the bullet. Which also means that, like, this is not an easy path, by the way, you know? This is this is quite challenging. I, I think it is, it, is, it is up there in the difficulty level of pathing. And then on top of that, if you want to be, like, completely real with each other here, which, you know, I always strive for. As a, as a content creator, you know, I think it's important to, to be a genuine person, you know? Oh my god. What just happened? My Adobe Creative Cloud cannot authorize... Excuse me. I mean, that's fine, but I, I'd very much like to just be able to... <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. You know what? First bit of damage, but uh, that one's not my fault. Apparently, Adobe Illustrator decided that it doesn't want to do the work today. I can respect that from like a certain standpoint, but on the other hand, like if you could like not pause my entire game every time that happens, that'd be great too. Even though that just happened once, I'm really hoping it doesn't consistently happen. Maybe we'll be able to have a decent run that's not going to be weighed down by any major technical malfeasances, you know? Or, or malfeasances for malfeasances is sake, if, if, if we're going to be, you know, looking on the bright side of life. But, you know, as, as a content creator and as a, as a YouTuber, you know, you can be a content creator in many different forms of entertainment right now. In, in today's work-a-day world, you know, the YouTuber, I believe this to be self-evident we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal but not when it comes to people who play video games on the internet that's like that's pretty much how i'm looking at things you know it's like if you if you're making stuff on youtube chances are you're different than people that make stuff on twitch primarily if you're making stuff on like mixer man i don't even know like what you would be that's like a whole nother level of of just insanity oh my god hello is this going to be like a, a constant issue? Hold on. We're good? Okay. It seems that that was the last issue. This is my mistake for having Illustrator open while trying to record. Bouncy Bullets is pretty good. Hopefully now I don't get any more interruptions because your boy would like to produce quality YouTube content. We're going to have to look into that at some point. But I mean, like, that's another problems issue. That's another problems issue. Oh my god, dude. The man just bounced me across the room. But yeah, dude. You know, if, if you spend, like, a little bit of time... Uh, and I think it's, like... It, it has to be this way, you know? This is the way of the world as it stands and in, in when it comes to, like, making stuff on YouTube, you know? If you were to watch, like, my videos for some ungodly reason, and then you were to go onto Twitch and watch somebody, you know, stream Exit the Gungeon, I'm sure that it would have, like, a much more, uh... A different air about it, you know? I mean, like, on YouTube... I don't know how I got into this tangent, but here we are, so... You know, like on YouTube, it's like... If you start a... You, you gotta you gotta fill up that time... With, uh... Anecdotes, situations, conversations, you know, commentary... Yeah, sure. You gotta talk about how your day was, you gotta talk about how your day might be... You gotta talk about the ifs, ands, and or buts, and... Oh good, it's Medusa Lear. But this is fine, because this is an okay place to fight her. Just don't ruin everything like you do with the rest of your life good good movement you know I've, I've i've been spending more time on twitch you know i spent a lot of time on twitch and then i spent more time on youtube and now i'm you know i'm starting to spend time on twitch i have friends that are streamers i enjoy oh <laughs> i enjoy watching their content i do i do 
Ah, you got hit, you fool. Some some people say that I don't like watching other people's content. It's not necessarily false. <laughs> but I do think it's not necessarily true, you know? Like, I enjoy watching people produce content of a certain quality. Unfortunately, for me to find content of a certain quality, I have to spend a lot of time looking for it. And I'm not trying to say that to be like a mean boy, yo, but the Fat Bullets is really good with everything we've got. A little bit on the, um... The spicy side of things? Do you have anything new that I've given you your stools? Don't steal anything. Alright, well. That'd be nice, sure. You know what? Is, is disarming personality worth 110 bullets in order to buy it? It does make everything else cheaper, and I guess in a way, if there is something that you want to pick up on the first, uh, the first shop, that would be it. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not too upset about, uh, what we've acquired here so far. It makes all of our shops better in the future. Oh, I forgot about this freaking floor, dude. This floor, my least favorite in the game. You might think it's like Escape from like Eternal Purgatory, but it's not. It's this one because these bullets are the weirdest of shapes and they just mess with your feng shui throughout the entirety of it. But I've, I've been, you know, I've been trying to, I hate them so much. I've been trying to watch more YouTube content and, and honestly, more so just for like the ability to uh, understand what's going on in the market. And I gotta say, man, those of you who watch YouTube content, you are, like, a special breed. I know, like, there are people that, like, just because, like, I'm crazy, but there are people that, like, watch my stuff without watching the video, and they just have me on in the background as, like, you know, a nice, I mean, I don't want to say white noise, because, I don't know, I, I feel like I could provide a little bit more than just ambient noise, but at the same time, you know, white noise. And I'm cool with that. Honestly, I think that's, like, the biggest compliment that I could gain as a content creator where somebody's like I'm gonna go to sleep now I'm gonna listen to this Canadian boy talk about random nonsense for the next like 20 to 30 minutes oh my god it's HP thank god okay 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 right now we're not in a danger zone 3 HP 2 blanks is enough to get us through this floor assuming that I could actually learn how to deal with these falling you know falling arrow mechanics that apparently I still haven't been able to suss out um, I'm just worried about like, yeah, just just hide. You just hide, dude. Don't try to dodge it. If you try to play the game the way that the game was designed to be played, you're gonna lose. That was a hard one, but I figured it out because I have the biggest brain in all of YouTube. If you like compare me to like the the other major, exit, <laughs> the other major exit the dungeon players, um, can't think of anyone right now. <laughs> But see, this is my point, dude. We gotta, we gotta learn about the market, baby. Those who do not study the industry are doomed to never make it within the industry. Dude, this is great. This is absolutely great. I very much like, yeah, those ice bombs and the ability to not get hit is also going exceedingly well. Take out the boy. Get ready for the Rogue Legacy Thwomp. Good to go. Okay. I would like a nice easy boss, please. Because, you know... Despite having 4 HP at the moment, I would like, eh, like, a uh, more easy boss. Canadian Bull, one of the simplest ones in the game. Uh, sorry, not one of the simplest ones. That's, that's a different meaning in today's society. Sorry, I don't mean to trigger anybody with the use of my current meta lingo. You have to know, as a Canadian, oh, dude, I hate, I genuinely and truthfully hate this gun. You might be saying it's not that bad. Nah, but you don't understand. When you have to, like, actually do movements and stuff, it's that bad, dude. You know what? Let's just blank it and also get away from underneath them. Simply because I don't trust this. This is this is going, uh, better? You know what? Blank it. Blank it. Focus. Good job. Good job. Did I panic there? Yeah. But, I mean, you know, who doesn't panic in Exit the Gungeon? It's a very Twitch-based game. Speaking of Twitch... Dude, I, I got respect for the Twitch streamers, you know? The people that can stay there for like, Oh, dude, Flak Bullets is so good. This is why we take disarming personality, my dude. Do you have anything else to say? I feel like you can't be done, right? Like, I, I've given you your stools. Surely there must be more. I, uh, that's probably it. Alright. So I had to have a little bit of hydration. I got respect for the Twitch streamers, dude. People that are out there every day playing the same game. Also, we, we've now, uh, by the way... With heavy bullets, scatter shot, I think it is. I, actually, I don't know if we have that. I might might have been the other one that I always get confused for that item. But flak bullets basically means that we are now a god 
um, you know, an unkillable god summoned from the gatekeeper and the key master. He's done it. In order to wreak our havage, havage, wreak our havoc upon the world of the Gungeon. Nothing can stop us. Oh my, dude, Gunslinger's Ashes. This is the new one that we just unlocked too. Enjoy it for the 30 seconds in which you see it. All right, so not for nothing, but like this is actually probably the most insane run I've ever had in my life. I'd like to, I, I do not know where I am in this miasma of bullets, but let's just continue on. Yo, this is so good. Now what do we want? Honestly, dude, just give me like more and more bullet synergies as we continue on. HP, not an issue. Oh, dude, it's Manservantees. Who's now the king, I guess. I am now free of cell and bondage. People pay extra for that. You play my game now. Game is called Just Desserts Golfing. It's a good game. First play is free. You play my game now, win prize. Don't, he's a monster. Prizes, you say? <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Do you know how to play? Tell me how to play. I'm, I don't have a good experience with these uh, mini games. Yellow Gunman, explain game. Ow, yes. Your grace. Oh, this poor man. This is what you call a simp. To play just desserts golfing, hit the me into the hole in the fewest shots possible. The fewer the shots, the better the prize. Hit the me. The controls. Ah, the injustice. Drag on the screen to change power and direction. Release the swing. Now you know how to play. Tee up. <laughs> this poor man, dude. Okay, okay. Oh, dude, look at this. Look at this pixelated background. Yo, he's massive, dude. Take your shot. Well, okay. We got it. We got to hit the boy. Where's my Where's my ball? Hit the boy into the thing. I think we go up and we loop down and you get it in one. Observe my amazing trajectorical powers. Skirt. Okay, that's way too much. It's way too much. However, the idea is still good. Okay, okay. So, I think what you want to do is a little bit higher. Maybe a little bit more just to be safe. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, oh, that's so good. Okay, okay. Now, you zoom in. You look very carefully. You give him a little, a little, little bunny hop. A little skirt. Okay, that's way too much. It's way too much. It's way too much. Oh, buckle in, boys. Because, uh, you know. Hold on, hold on. I've, we've ruined everything. Okay. I forget where we were last time, but let's just call it, like, around there. Oh, let's go! Let's go, baby! Oh! Yo, 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 Okay, okay. Small. Small, controlled swings. Just, like, a little bit. Just, like, like literally that much. Okay? Okay? You know, this reminds me of Dark Cloud. A game that also had a golfing minigame, and I hated it. Okay, you know what? We need we need power and toward the force. What are we at? Plus six? No problem. <sighs> okay, let him breathe. Let him breathe. Let him breathe. I'm not like proud of this, by the way. No, oh, let's go! It only took eight shots, baby. <laughs> Good try. No, oh, he's giving me a blue chest. You know what? We deserve that. That's fair. Straight up. Enraging photo, is, is it worth it? I, I mean, no, but it's not a bad item. It's just not a good item in the sense that why do I, why would I care about it? I can't even hit you right now, dude. Why would I care about an item that only activates when I get hit? When it's very obvious to, yo, jammed enemies, dude. When it's very obvious to everybody that I never get hit. All right, let's just like clear this, like this massive hurdle that's appeared in front of us and just continue on. I was talking about having respect for Twitch streamers, I think. You know what? By the way, okay? Here's... I want to talk about something that as as of right now, the time of this recording, this is not within reference to any particular situation or, you know, happening that might be going on in the world, right? And I say that because it, it seems like in the Twitch universe there's some sort of weird, like, I don't know, outcry that happens where somebody says or does something and everyone's like hey that's really messed up why are you doing that and then they ruin their entire career as of right now i'm not talking about anything in particular let's just keep it that way but i have to say how is it that twitch streamers seem to have this happen to them don't be the underman oh it's the low boy okay 
I'm not looking for a flawless here. I think that's pretty fair to say, considering, you know, my ability at fighting this boss. But he always seems to show up on this uh, this room juxta position. That was not a good use of a blank, but we did it anyway. Just I'm waiting for the shots that come really quickly out of, like, nowhere. Those are the ones that I just absolutely hate. Let's try dodging this. I hate you so much, you low boy! But I, it's... Why does it seem that Twitch streamers just have, like, bad things that they do a lot more than, like, the average person? And, and maybe that's, like, not true. Maybe I'm just, like, I'm tuned into it more, so I just see it. But it seems like almost, like, every week some dude is just saying something horrible or some girl is doing something reprehensible or, like, I don't know, someone's, like, kicking their cat or, like, somebody's, like, making fun of somebody's artwork or, like, you know, like, can we all just calm down? As like a as a collective, you know, like it or not, we're all in the same industry. We're all doing the same thing. We're just wrapped up in a different uh, a different plastic. Oh, dude, I would. Dude, we're so close. We need ten dollars to get the magic sweep, but we can't do it because I've been playing poorly. Also, that's a really good price for Magic Suite. I want to make that perfectly clear that it, it, had I been playing a little bit better, we would have had enough money to get it, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to have flak bullets carry us throughout the entire game. All right, so this is the floor that I hate probably with every passionate core in my body, and as and I got to say, there are quite a lot of passionate cores in my body, especially since I've been working out. You boys down 10 pounds, I know. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm just very excited to... You know, to be losing weight after all my time of, of being a, just a fat monster. Hey, hey dude! Hold on, you're, you're talking about, like, toxi toxicity within the Twitch community, man. You want to, like, see toxicity in, like, the, the, the working out community? Yes! Many people are very, very helpful, very kind, you know, they're very supportive of, like, everything that's happening, and they want to see you succeed. But if you want to see, like, the worst, like, just some of the worst volatile cancer that exists, I really want that heart. I really want that heart, but unfortunately, unfortunately the cards do not align. Yo, 11 for the boy. I tried looking up, like, a, a recipe for a peanut butter shake. And first of all, recipe websites are just the worst. I got, like, 17 pop-ups over the course of me being there for, like, two freaking seconds. I, I had to close so many ads just to get to a recipe. It's 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 disgusting. And either way, that's a fine. But then also, you know, if you're ever like looking for like a healthy, you know, quote unquote healthy. I know how healthy can a peanut butter shake be? Well, you don't understand though. It's you know, it's it has a lot of a lot of like healthy fats and everything like that. It's really good if you're doing like not a keto diet, but like you know a an, a keto inspired diet. So it's not like. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst, and it fills you up, so what do you want? Do never look at comments. It just, in general, if you're on the internet, don't look at the comment sections. It's just like, it's, it's, they're bad, and they will always be bad. But also, never look at the comment sections for, like, a recipe. Because all of them are just like, wow, I can't believe, why are you try telling us to use this type of recipe instead of this ingredient? Don't you know that the company involved in it is actually doing this, this, and this with their money instead of this, this, and this, as as said by this 2008 article that I, I'm now going to link here. And then there's like four people that are like, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. And then the other dude's like, what are you, what are you talking about? None of this is true. Hello, Sepulcher guys. You know, I have a, I have a, a, a good history, I like to think when it comes to internet comments and stuff like that. I understand that they're all just horrible and that you never want to deal with them. But like, the comments that are like horrible and like let's plays and stuff like that are different. It's a different kind of horrible. Because in a way, you hope that everybody's doing it in like good faith, you know? You're hoping that everybody's telling you these things because they want to see you improve. When you get like a, a bad message about like why'd you do this instead of this, it's because they want you to do better. But in the health community, it's just, I want everyone to be suffering. That's all it is. That's all it is. Anyway, we did that. That was a really good boss fight. <sighs> oh no, I bought Riddle of Lead instead. Oh, I'm such, I'm such a clumsy boy. I, I can't believe it, dude. We, we could have had a clone run and you could have like had like a... A great, just absolutely phenomenal run, but instead, 
I bought the wrong item. I, I'm just... I, you know what it is, man? I I was watching the Midnight Gospel last night, and it... By the way, yo, real talk? First of all, I don't have the time to do a clone run, okay? I understand... I, I promise next time it shows up, I'll take it, but right now I got some stuff to do. But also, yo, real talk, I've been, I've been watching the Midnight Gospel, which is a show... And, and honestly, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if it's, like, by the dude who made Adventure Time or if it's or if he's animating it, but it's, like, it's a collection of, of podcast interviews that have been edited together to form, like, a, a loosely based story about the main man, Clancy, who goes into these altered digital worlds that are, like, on the brink of destruction to interview people before they die. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I watched the first episode yesterday, and then I watched all of it immediately after and then I could not get to sleep yo it's the old man yo we've been having like a really good run when it comes to like random NPCs showing up I'm, I'm pretty happy for that it's also making this run go like really fast but irritated shots is just gonna make it go even faster baby so buckle in we're in for a quote unquote gungeon speed run my dude okay okay focus up very good stuff happening here I, I think the next run we're gonna do is the robot because like I think we've done everybody but the good news is, or the bad news is, is that it'll be on a random path, too. So not only will the character be hard, but also the pathing will probably be, like, more difficult than average. So that's that's just great. Give me the magic bullets, baby. But yeah, dude, I watched, like, all... It's... And you know what? It's gonna sound weird, because I know, like, right now there's, like, nothing else to do. But I don't really watch TV shows in a binge way. You know, I'll have, like, The Office on, but that's just to fill up the, the silence so that I feel like I'm not completely alone all the time, you know? That's the true reason as to why people have The Office. But, with this show, I just watched the whole thing. And I gotta say, you know, it's it's changed my perspective on quite a few things. Do you want Frost Bullets? I think you want the Litchy Trigger Finger when you're going into the, the dragon fight. I'm happy with this run. It's really good. Don't be mad that I didn't take the clone, because I will never apologize. What else have I watched? I've watched Castlevania. Season 3. It's weird to me how that show is on Season 3, when in my mind I just constantly think that it's on Season 2, but... Season 3, Castlevania, no spoilers. But I mean, like, it was just, you know... I'm not gonna say it's filler, because uh, nothing's filler, everything serves the plot. Yeah, but I mean, like... You know when you get a season of not filler, but it also just nothing happens, and you're like... I get it, that's cool, but like... Why can't we just get to the good stuff? You know, that's how I feel about Castlevania Season 3. Dude, I gotta watch Community Season 6, but now I have to watch, like, Seasons 1 through 5 just to remember what's going on, and... I don't know, man. It's a lot... There's a, there's a lot of stuff that has to be done. It basically is what I'm trying to say. I'm not being, like, a greedy boy who's like, uh, poor me, I have all these TV shows, all this media that I have to consume, and... Skirt! All this media I need to consume, and so much free time to do it, but... I just don't want to, you know? It's it's not a good look for me. I'm trying to have better looks for- Do you hit me? Me? The man with all of the guns? No, 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 no. I do not appreciate that at all, dude. Either way, man, I don't know. I gotta- You know, I'm trying to consume more media, basically, is the point of this, like, entire preamble. I'd like to consume more media just because, like, the last, like, active show that I watched was Steven Universe, and that one just ended, and now I got, like, this weird friggin' hole in my heart that I gotta refill with, like, another cartoon, but, like, who's got the time to look for another cartoon in this economy? Fairbro, you're, like, constantly counter- uh, counter- counter-predicting yourself here. Yeah, I know, I know, dude. Here's- here's the thing about the human mind, you know? It's a wild just- oh my god, dude, the quad laser. I think that's the first time ever where I actually liked it. Hit him one more! Hit him one more, baby! Let's go! That's it! Acquiesced! Anyway, yeah, the human mind is just a ball of fat. Proteins, lipids, hormones, and chemicals, baby. That's all we are at the end of the day. And also, if you, uh, you, the viewer who's a ball of fat, uh, proteins, chemicals, lipids, and all that, like this episode, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Of course, you want to see more of my content in the future. Hit the subscribe button and join the Fade Tribe. Thank you for all the support on the channel, by the way. Like, our subscribers have been going up crazy, you know, comparatively. And, and I just really appreciate it. And you know what? I want you to know that I appreciate it. Yo, we've exited the Gungeon for another time. Oh, let's go, baby. See you next time. Yeah, see ya.